Alright mates, how's it going? In today's video, it's Chapter 7 of The Last Guardian by Jeff Grubb. Let's throw a murder mystery into the mix, because why not? Let's go! Before this moment, the greatest buildings that Khadgar had ever seen were those of the Violet Citadel itself. It was a point of pride for Khadgar. Nothing, not even Medivh's tower, had come close to the grandeur of the Kirin Tor's architecture. But now he'd seen Stormwind. It was a sight to behold. Greater in size than anything in Lordaeron, and bustling with life. And the castle? Well, the castle was glorious. A city within a city. And Khadgar wondered how it was even possible to build such a grand place without some sort of magical aid. Was there some sort of magical aid? Maybe that was why Medivh was so valued in this place. Who knows? Anywho, Lord Lothar was already waiting for them as they landed their griffins. Apprentice, good to see you're still employed, my lord. Med, I came as soon as I could. You have to get along without me sometimes, you know. Well, his majesty, we'll have to wait. Take me to the chamber in question. Actually, you said it was Huglin and Hagarin, correct? I know the way myself. Let's go. No time for pleasantries, apparently. Medivh was off. He's in a fine mood. He's been agitated all night. He'd been gone for the past week. Only just got back when your summons arrived. Has he told you what this is about? No. Two of the greatest sorcerers of Stormwind are dead. Bodies burned almost beyond recognition. And their hearts have been ripped out. There's evidence of demonic activity. Which is why I sent for the mages. Perhaps he can tell us what happened. Where are the bodies? As Khadgar entered the room, he saw it was an absolute shambles. Every book pulled from the shelves, all the furniture was broken, and at the centre of the room was an inscription carved into the floor itself, and two scorch marks, both man-sized. Where are the bodies? Where are the remains of Huglar and Hagarin? They were removed. It would have been unseemly to leave them here. We didn't know when you'd arrive. You didn't know if I'd arrive, you mean. Fine. We can still salvage something. Who else has been in here? Let's see, um, the Conjurer Lords Huglar and Ugarin. Well, yes. They had to have been in here to have died here. Who else? One of their servants found him, and I was called, and I brought several guardsmen to move the bodies. They've not been buried yet, if you want to examine them. Who? The bodies or the guardsmen? <laughs> no, we'll take care of that later. So that's a servant, yourself, about four guardsmen, would you say? And now me and my apprentice. No one else? No one I can think of. The Magus then closed his eyes and muttered a few words under his breath, but his eyes then flew open again. Young Trust, Lord Magus, I need your youth and inexperience. My jaded eyes may just be seeing what I'm expecting to see. I need fresh eyes. Come here. Don't cross the circle itself. There may still be some lingering enchantments. Stand here. Now, don't be afraid to ask questions. But what do you sense? A wrecked room. Now don't tell me what you see, tell me what you sense. Khadgar took a deep breath, he cast a quick minor spell that sharpened one's senses, and as soon as he did, things felt different. Usually, magic had a feel of lightness and energy, but this, this was thick and sticky and jizz-like. Khadgar had never felt anything like this before. In fact, it started to get so thick, sticky and jizzy, that Khadgar started to feel smothered and fell to his knees. But Medivh then helped him to his feet. I didn't expect you to succeed even that well. Good try. Excellent work. What was that? The magic has been particularly twisted here. A remnant of what occurred earlier. The two dead mages here were summoning demons. It's that taint that you feel here. That heaviness of magic. A demon was here. That's what killed these poor powerful idiots. Summoning demons. In the king's tower. No matter how wise and wonderful, there's always one more sliver of power. One more bit of knowledge to be learned by any mage. These two fell into that trap, and paid the price for it. Morons. But how? Surely there were protections? Wards? That's a mystic circle of power on the floor. Easily breached. Easily broken. Medivh then knelt down, and closely examined the ring of power, and picked up a thin piece of straw. See? A simple broom straw. If this was here when they began their summoning, all the adjurations and phylacteries in the world would not protect them. The demon would consider the circle to be no more than an arch. A gateway into this world. I've seen it before. Khadgar took another look around the room. It really was a disaster in there. Nothing was in the place where it was supposed to be. It seemed kind of unlikely that the broom straw would have been the only thing that had remained in the same place. How were the bodies found? What? Uh, 
Sorry. You, you said I could ask questions. When I came in, they were on the ground. The servant hadn't moved them. Face up or face down, sir? Heads towards the circle or towards the window? Uh, circle. Face down. What are you driving at, young trust? If you hit someone from the front, they fall back. If you hit someone from the back, they fall forward. Was the window open when you arrived? Lothar looked towards the open window and thought about it. Yes. No. Yes. Yeah, I think it was. But it might have been opened by the servant. The stench was terrible. I can ask him. No need. The window was likely open before your servant entered. So your theory, young trust, is that Uglar and Hugarin were standing here, watching the magic circle, when something came in the window and hit them from the back. They fell forward and were burned in that position. Yes, sir. Hmm. It's a good theory, but wrong, I'm afraid. Lothar, were the bodies burned front and back? Yes. There you go. Huglar and Agarim were facing the demon within the circle. Demon breathes fire, burned the front. Two mages fell forward. Flame spread to the back. Gagar felt that warm feeling of embarrassment on his face cheeks. Sorry, it was just a theory. It was a good one. Just wrong. The window is open because that's how the demon left the tower, which means it's in the city right now. What? Yep, it's probably laying low at the moment. Killing these two fools would have been quite taxing for it. I need to organize search parties. No, I'll do this myself. I need to see the remains though. That'll tell me what we're dealing with here. All right, follow me. In a moment. Lothar, would you grant me and my apprentice a moment alone? Uh, sure, I'll be just outside. There was a bit of awkward silence after Lothar exited the room until Medivh broke it. In civilized countries, apprentices don't disagree with their masters, at least in public. I'm sorry, he said don't be afraid to ask questions. The positions of the bodies didn't seem enough. He did the right thing. If you hadn't have spoken up, I may not have realized the demon skittered out the window. But you asked questions because you don't know much about demons. And that is ignorance. I will not tolerate ignorance. So, tell me, what did you learn of demons in your time at the Violet Citadel? Sir, Lothar's waiting. Maybe we should... Lothar can wait. He's good at waiting. Answer my question. I've heard the legends. In the first days, there were demons in the lands and great heroes rose to drive them out. That's the basics. What we tell the Hoi Poloi. Surely you know more than that. The official teachings in the Violet Citadel is the demonology is to be avoided. Any attempt to summon demons will be stopped at once with culprits expelled. Or worse. Come on, Khadgar, you're a curious lad. Tell me what you know. <sighs> the general belief is that when the demons were defeated, they were driven out of this world entirely. Into their own domain. The great dark beyond. They're still out there. Or so the legend goes. And they want to come back. Some say they speak to the weak willed in their sleep. Urge them to find old spells and make sacrifices. Others say they want worshippers to make this world like it once was. Bloody and violent. And only then can they return. Well, that's a start. A lot of people couch it in the form of legends and fairy tales. But I think you know as well as I do that demons are real. They're a threat to all of us. On this world and others. The Beyond is a prison for these demons, a place without light or succor, and they are very, very anxious to get back here. Khadgar nodded, and Medivh continued, with your assumption that their victims are weak wielders in error. There are obviously some occasions of simple folk invoking demonic forces for revenge or riches, but there are those who walk willingly towards the Abyss, powerful enough to harness demonic energies. What about these two? Uglar and Agarin, I mean. The most powerful, wisest and finest mages in Stormwind. So surely they would have known better. You would think so. Yet here we stand in the wreckage of their chambers. So why do it? Many reasons. Hubris. That false pride that goes before the fool. Fear. Of the unknown. Of the known. Fear of things more powerful than them. Or what could be more powerful than two of the most powerful mages in Stormwind? Me. They killed themselves summoning a demon playing with forces best left alone because they feared me. You me. I think it's time I told you the story of the Guardian, Young Trust, and of the Order of Tirisfal. Looks like Lothar's going to be waiting a little bit longer. And we're leaving it there! I think you can kind of tell that Jeff Grubb came from like a Forgotten Realms D&D background by the way he writes about magic and stuff. I'm not really doing it justice in this series, but it's definitely one of its strengths, in my opinion. 
Plus his approach towards the demonic stuff is a little bit more akin to something like Dragon Age than WoW, which I kind of like, to be honest. As usual, links in the description for the book, my Patreon page, my Discord, all of that stuff. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, all of that bollocks. And all that's left to say is, thanks for watching, and see ya!